How to cook Ramali roti made with milk and wheat flour. Please like, comment and subscribe. Ramali roti is a thin, soft Indian bread that is typically made with a combination of wheat flour and sometimes enriched with milk or yogurt for added flavor and tenderness. Here's a simple recipe for making Ramali roti with milk and wheat flour. Ingredients 2 cups whole wheat flour A quarter cup milk Water as needed Salt to taste Heat clarified butter or oil for cooking Extra flour for dusting Instructions Prepare the dough In a mixing bowl, combine the whole wheat flour, salt, and milk Gradually add water and knead the mixture into a soft, pliable dough The addition of milk will enhance the flavor and texture of the roti Rest the dough. Cover the dough with a damp cloth and let it rest for at least 30 minutes. This allows the gluten to relax and makes the dough easier to roll out. Divide the dough. After resting, divide the dough into small, golf ball-sized portions. Rolling out the roti. Take one portion of the dough and roll it into a ball. Dip it in dry flour to prevent sticking. Roll out the ball into a thin, large circle. It should be almost transparent. The thinner, the better for rumali roti. Cooking the roti. Heat a tawa flat griddle or a non-stick pan on medium-high heat. Place the rolled out roti on the hot surface. Cook for about 30 seconds to 1 minute until bubbles start to appear on the surface. Flipping and cooking. Flip the roti using a pair of tongs or your hands if you can handle the heat. Cook the other side for another 30 seconds to 1 minute. Final cooking. Once both sides have a few brown spots and the roti is cooked, remove it from the tawa. Finishing touch. Optionally, brush the rumali roti with ghee or butter for added flavor and softness. Repeat. Repeat the process with the remaining portions of dough. Serve. Serve the rumali roti hot with your favorite curry or accompaniment. Remember that making rumali roti requires a bit of practice, especially when it comes to rolling out the dough thinly. Don't be discouraged if your first few attempts are not perfect, it's all part of the learning process.